Good afternoon, boss. Hello. The fanny pack was good. Yeah, but the shirts weren't, so oh. we're finding a new route. Eventually, it's it'll happen eventually. You know how we Why work. does the boss have me out on Sunday afternoon? Well. Maui. It's a nice day. In December, a mm -hmm. week before Christmas. Not even. It's less than a week. Like, Christmas is a Thursday or Friday, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm, we're going to come out here and we're going to... Yeah, today's the 20th. Wow. Today's five days away. Thursday, right? Yeah, so we're closing out okay. these two lawns. I got <laughs> I gotta cut down... It's Sunday. No, it's My Sunday. brain doesn't work. I know. So it's Friday, right? Yeah. <laughs> Christmas is Friday. Today is Sunday, guys. Yeah. I decided My brain to, wasn't working. the boss decided she didn't want to sit around the house no more, that she wanted to come out and work. So No, well it's just a nice day. We haven't had nice days and Oh yeah. And we gotta get stuff done this week because I seen possibly I mean when the phone tells me um three to five inches expected, not possible. Then I think they're thinking we're going to get three to five inches of snow at least on Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. I don't know. So it is a monster storm building down here. I think it was supposed to be all rain and then it changed to one inch of snow and now it's three to five. So we'll see. We'll see. They say if it goes a little further. I think further, that's supposed to be a bunch of us, right? Um, are... Not even up the East Coast, only oh. all the way up the mountain ridges, all the way up to the uh, Canada. A yeah. big north storm, but I think the coast more is going to have all rain from this. Oh. Um, we're right on the edge where, you know, the temperatures are going to plummet on Christmas Day. And this rain comes in Christmas Eve and some snow lingers through the back half of the cold front. And we might get three to five inches. But either way, I was telling Rachel, the high on Christmas Day is 31 degrees. Yeah. So any rain that turns into snow is going to be ice, snow probably ice on the bottom snow and that makes for good conditions to build our snow ramp yeah so hopefully we get all these things going i'll be inside cooking and we're going to build a snow ramp <laughs> for the kids and me and the boss is going down this thing <laughs> you're funny you are aren't you all right let's okay get let's get out and mow this one guys yeah. so let's hope we get this snow So the first one Rachel's going to do is she's blowing all the leaves out to mow them up. Um, and then we got to mow this backyard here. Um, I'm getting ready. I'll take you over here. But over here we have um, some uh, grasses I have to prune back. She wants us to prune back. Last time we they were pr she pruned them back. It took a while for them to come back, but she wants them back again. So I'm going to go ahead and look. They took a tree out here. Nice. Open that up really nicely. So I'm going to go over there and start pruning that and then I'll get the mow in this hill. So there is an easier way to do this. Um, you could wrap a bungee cord around it or some duct tape around it and just cut them and have them in bunches. But I don't have either of that. So I'm just going to cut them right onto the tarp. I'm using the KM111R. You can use any hedge trimmer or pole trimmer like this to cut them back. It doesn't matter, small hedge trimmers. Um, this will work a little better. I think the scythe attachment would actually work the best for this, but I don't have that attachment. So I'm using the articulating attachment. Right
So if you notice, I got two down, one more to go. Um, the tarps worked out perfect. Very minimal cleanup you guys seen. Um, and you can keep them about, I'd say about a foot off the ground. She cut them all the way down to the ground before, like dead to the ground. It took about two years for them to come back, but they eventually did come back like this, as you see. Um, so these will eventually come back. I'm gonna go knock out the last one and um, get this done. Then we're gonna mow this big hill behind me, so stay tuned. And it's wet, so I'm hoping that I don't slide down it, but we'll see. So let me go tackle this one. So there you go. I cut all these back. I'll hit any edges with the weed eater. I'm gonna have Rachel, I guess, blow this. I mean, I can mow a bunch of it up, but I don't want to get the mower stuck in this little rut here. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get ready to mow this.
So this is all done. The grass is pruned. This mode. And this all cleaned up. I'm not sure what happened to my hand. Maybe I ran into a tree there. And that all done. So let's go home. Rachel's finished up and all that one. She did that all by herself. I just weed heated it. Oh, and she mowed the back too. So we're done this one for the year. He made me work till dark. Really, man? <laughs> it's only four o'clock. <laughs> it's not really that late. Let me see what time is it. Oh, it's 5.15. Five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock somewhere. Guess what, guys? In the beginning of the video, I was all happy about snow. Now I looked at the weather and there's no snow. No way, really? Not at all. It says all rain now and only a 60% chance. That's how quick it changes. It's how quick but it watch. changes. By Tuesday, we'll be getting a blizzard probably. Yeah. I I mean, it feels cold, but then again... The problem is the cold air, I think, is coming in too late. So, oh. but it is what it is. Maybe we'll get ice. That makes it even more fun to sled on. Not for the boss. No, that makes it more scary for me because I have to worry about four children, five children. Getting injured, so. <laughs> but we're good, we're good. Yeah. So we're done for the night, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good night. Have a good night.